He's cute. I send him a heart. How's that? You swipe right or swipe left if you like and you don't like. It's like, oh my God. <laughs> never, never thought I would be on a dating app, ever. I remember in the late 60s, they had actually had dating places that you would go into and look through a catalog, like you were into Sears or something. <laughs> It was difficult at first to understand exactly how the dating apps work, but I have to keep trying because I have a huge sex drive now. You look beautiful. No, thanks. You too, darling. Well, you're looking really good, actually. We're not banging in the kitchen. I don't even know if my mother's there. Uh, she probably is. Yeah. The other night, you literally stopped halfway because you heard her. Well, she turned on the light and she was like close to the room. There is a that point. Was, that was so uncomfortable. There's a point of no return that once Debbie crosses, I know she's going to come knocking on that door. I'm just saying that it's it's a little awkward. Yeah. You want to have sex all around the house I mean, five I'm times a day. Right but a, now, yeah, honestly. but a lot of times Debbie comes in and it's awkward. Yeah, I gotcha. This house is not massive. It's hard having a newlyweds and my mother living here. I can't blame my mother wanting to bring over gentlemen callers. That's fine, obviously, but I don't want to be a part of it. I'm sure she doesn't want to be a part of it when we're intimate, as much as she might think her and I are together forever. She has to believe that we deserve our own freedom. Hello. Uh, hello. <laughs> How are you? Oh, look at this. Yes. Cutting some meat up. All right. Yeah, look at your tattoo. Keep that button up. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my Keep God. Keep it up. Oh my God. Whoa. It's real. Yeah, it is. Pretty cool, huh? What do you think? I like it. Yeah? Yeah, this is your first tattoo? Yep. Like, shit. Oh. I've been, we've been thinking about stuff. I'm just thinking like, you know, you brought over your gentleman caller not very long ago. Yeah. And that was yeah. fine. He gave me a heads up. Uh, we drove all the way to the border. <laughs> oh my God. You well, need your privacy for sure. I want to respect you. I don't want someone to feel awkward. Oh, my 36 year old son is at home. Don't mind him. He likes to listen. Like, I, <laughs> oh my God. But, but, but it's like, it's just weird. We have discussed privacy. If the door is closed, don't come in. Don't bother me. If my door is closed, same thing. If the beds are rocking, don't come a knocking. The van is shaking, don't. Something. <laughs> well, we've been thinking about separating. Separating. Like, so you said separating? Like, yeah. Uh, me from you guys, right? Well, yes. Okay. I think it's, you know, it's about time I move out and have my independence, and you guys have your independence. You've been You're talking starting about out, I know, for a couple of years. I know, but you showed more recently, so. I know. Ever since Colt and Vanessa got married, I've been thinking about moving out. And I've even looked at a couple apartments. I'm taking my time to feel comfortable about where I want to move, and I'm probably procrastinating a little bit, but I can't rent something that I can't afford. You can't even think about leaving. Are you going to stay here or are you going to move? Well, the lease is up soon, so. We're going to move out in three months. Three months? Well, thanks for sharing this with me. What a fucked up way to I help you hate. I love you. I don't want to talk about the same room, Dad. I don't feel good, OK? That's fine. You go leave. I'm sorry. I love you. We're done. <sighs> We're done. <sighs> Fucking bastard. You rotten bastard. I promise you, I'm not going to abandon her. Okay? I'm not telling you to I know, abandon her. I know, I know. I'm not saying you did. I'm just saying, like, I'll take care of her. And that's fine. Yes. I just want a little bit of privacy. She must understand in the back of her mind what it's like to want to be alone with your man or husband or whatever, right? Sneaky about getting married and doesn't tell me, and then he's hiding the fact that he wants me to move out. It's not the cold I know. 
This is a shitty thing for him to do to his mother, to kick me out on the fucking street. I, I'm really scared. I don't know what's going to happen. I don't, I mean, I went through shit with him, and I was there for him the whole time. And now to dump me on the street, it's just, it's not right. And it's just, I have cats. What the fuck am I doing to do with my cat? Be homeless with my cats, I guess. Three months isn't any time at all to find a place to live. I was all excited to continue on this new dating scene, but now I may have a problem and have to focus on moving out in three months. I don't want to live in the streets. I feel like he is cutting me out of his life. Yeah.